Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today I'm going to talk about the new iPhone 4. Uh, it follows the name of the iPhone OS of 4.0, but it's actually the next iPhone in fourth in the line. Um, a little bit surprising of a name. Normally, most people were thinking iPhone HD, uh, iPhone 4GS, 4G. There's so many different names people were guessing, uh, but it turns out it is iPhone 4. And here is a picture of it, if you haven't seen it already. This is the one that was shown on Gizmodo, uh, the stolen or lost iPhone, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is exactly what we thought as far as what it looks like, but the specs are, are a lot better than I expected. Uh, we all know that it uh, pretty much was going to use the processor that's in the iPad. The processor uh, is their own custom A4 chip. They didn't give a speed for the iPhone 4, but they did just say they're using it. Um, it comes in a 16 gigabyte and a 32 gigabyte uh, model. Thought it would go to 64 like the iPod Touch, but apparently it's not needed. Um, it does come in the 199 and 299 cost range with a two-year contract. Now, all of those of you who have a 3G or 3GS and are wondering if you're eligible for an upgrade, you probably are unless you bought this after Christmas. It's basically within a six-month time frame, and uh, AT&T clarified that today. Apple went into it a little bit, and AT&T clarified it. They... they uh, said you'll be able to upgrade for the 199 or 299 depending which model you want. Uh, the big features on this new phone uh, are the design of course. It's got a glass front and back. The only part that's metal on it is the ring around the outside that actually acts as an antenna also. It also uh, is the main support structure for the entire phone. It's kind of a sandwich of glass on top of the metal that holds everything inside. Uh, they have promised better battery life, uh, up to 40% more talk time is the claim. Uh, their battery claims seem a bit uh, on the generous side, but when you looked at the iPad, it was better than uh, what they had claimed. So we could probably suspect what they're saying. If you have an iPhone now, it'll last longer on a battery charge, uh, for the most part, except for video, which was a little bit weird. Um, the other thing that was a, a really nice thing is a super high-res screen they're calling the retina screen uh, this is an IPS display which allows you to look at it from different angles just like the iPhone you can see at it from different uh, angles and it doesn't blur uh, the 3GS does not have that that kind of display um, when you look at it it actually uh, it's tough to see from the side uh, it's a little bit better straight on just like it should be the pixel density on the new one, the pixels are such that I think they get the name Retina Display. They didn't really get into it, but I think they get that name because it's basically the pixels are so tightly packed that you cannot see uh, where they actually are, the little squares that you might see on a television or a larger display, and even the iPhone if you look closely. Um, the actual spec is 960. Um, uh, 960 by 640 pixels. Uh, that's a, a, a huge amount for a 3.5 inch display. In fact, it's about 70 some odd percent of the entire iPad crunched into this small spot uh, for the iPhone. And so that's pretty amazing. Um, it has a 5 megapixel camera with flash. It also records in 720p and it has a forward facing camera of which they did not give the resolution, uh, but they did show their new video chat. Um, they call it FaceTime and it's basically video chat and now we have seen forward-facing cameras on the HTC Evo that just launched uh, and it will work with Skype but the one on the iPhone, the thing with the iPhone is the iPhone is a gigantic seller and anybody will be able to use this. The problem is uh, you have to have it on a Wi-Fi connection to use the video chat or the FaceTime as they're calling it. Uh, and the reason for that is, has to do with AT&T's network limitations and that sort of thing, unfortunately. Um, the other part of the phone that's, that's uh, pretty interesting, I think, is how thin it is compared to the old phone. This uh, iPhone, here, let me get rid of this uh, picture here. This iPhone is th uh, thick compared to the new iPhone. Uh, the new one uh, has a much, much thinner profile, squared off. 
Um, and supposedly the glass on the back and front are as hard as uh, sapphire crystal, according to their video, uh, which is pretty incredible. I've had a very hard time scratching this. I have not scratched this to screen, and I don't have a screen protector on it. I have scratched one, and it's that's because a, uh, uh, I was popping apart a case, and that was the original iPhone, and actually scratched the screen because I had to use something sharp to pop it apart, and it scraped the screen. Um, but that was pretty difficult to do, and uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. The other thing with the uh, the new iPhone here, let me bring this back up. The other thing is uh, with the pixel density comes uh, a whole lot of different things where you can have high resolution pictures. Um, you can have uh, the HD video is going to look really like HD, um, and with that HD video you can use iMovie. Uh, it's a $5 or $4.99 app that's going to be coming out. You can fully edit your your uh, movies on the iPhone with transitions, with themes, and send them off to YouTube, which is going to be huge for people like me uh, recording on YouTube. I could probably put, I'm hoping I can put my intros and things on there, piece it all together on the phone in HD, and then send it off to YouTube. That'll be huge for, like I said, people like me, um, and whoever else wants to record their own videos and put them together quickly, make them look really nice, and send them on their way uh, to Facebook or wherever you want to put them. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's iPhone 4.0. We've gone over that in a review before, a little overview. That's on there. Um, and the availability is the 24th, which is a Thursday. Uh, you'll be able to pre-order it, just like the iPad, which should be pretty good for most of us, because uh, if you've ever waited in the line for 3G or 3GS, like I have, uh, that can be pretty uh, annoying, the, the wait, and hoping you're going to get one. This way, you can pre-order pre them on the 15th uh, on their website, and then pick it up on the day of release on the uh, 24th. Let me, uh, let me make sure. I'm pretty sure it's the 24th. I'd hate to give you the, the wrong date, but... Um, it is a Thursday. I kept thinking the 28th, and I'm not really sure why, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's the 24th that it actually comes out. Um, the iPhone is uh, more environmentally friendly and that sort of thing. If if you're into the green part of that, uh, everything in it is recyclable. Almost 100%, if not 100% recyclable. Um, the other thing is, is the iPhone 4.0 OS comes out today for developers, the Gold Master, which means that's the final build that they're going to release to the public, is out today, uh, the day of the launch uh, on uh, June 7th here, or the day of the preview of the phone launch. Uh, the other thing with that is, um, I apologize, I'm, I'm slipping a little bit, but uh, the other thing I apologize is that, that it's coming out is their own cases for the iPhone. They call them bumpers, and they go around the metal part, the stainless steel part, um, to protect the phone. They don't cover anything else, and they're pretty pricey. They're about $30. They're also releasing a dock that's $30. Uh, I don't know that I want to cover up that nice stainless steel. Uh, I like the design of it, and if you're not going to cover the back and front, what's the point, I guess, uh, unless you want to customize it in the different colors. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sure you've you've been beaten to death with this news, but wanted to follow up with it. I uh, wanted to let you know I'm going to be doing a giveaway for uh, an iP iPad um, case. It's not the Vaha, but it is a uh, Zag uh, Invisible Shield, so check back for that. And if you have any other questions you'd like answered, or anything that I might be able to show you, uh, please feel free to ask. Um, that's pretty much it. And uh, just to confirm, June 24th is the final release date that it will be available in the United States and a bunch of other countries at once, which will be pretty exciting for uh, those other countries that normally have to wait a while, uh, like the UK and Canada and all of them. So they'll be available. It's AT&T only again, two-year contract. So if you don't like AT&T, you're out of luck in the US anyway. Um, it is quad band GSM, which means it could maybe work on T-Mobile. Ha we'll have to find that out uh, as far as 3G goes on there. But again, that's probably going to require unlock. But anyway, if you have any questions um, that I haven't answered or you can't find online, feel free to ask and I'll try and answer them. Uh, other than that, uh, again, check back for that giveaway. And I appreciate you all of you uh, subscribing and uh, comment. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.